What's up YouTube, it's Louis here bringing you today's cryptocurrency video. We're going to look at quant again. And uh, now before we get into this video, uh, just please like this video, uh, subscribe, comment and turn the notification bell on. Everything here is time sensitive. Now if we're looking at quant, we have this descending triangle which I gave you many moons ago. And we've got a technical target down here at this uh, swing low over here. At, um, $175 and we're still in a technical target to there but just because we're in a technical target to there doesn't necessarily mean we have to go to there and right now everyone sees this bearish cross on the daily and I bet everyone's panicking th saying, thinking ah it's going to zero but <laughs> don't worry it's not this is very important that we're getting a higher low and we're just coming back to test a swing high over here and form it into a new swing low what you can see is that we came to this purple line and this purple line is a psychological level of $200 so it's a very key level of resistance and support because it's a psychological number it's got zero 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 after it after it so yeah no panicking here it's not going to zero it's forming its first ever higher low it's formed its first ever higher high and then its first ever higher low this is extremely bullish guys because as long as you're printing higher lows you will eventually make a higher high so you will eventually go higher than 430 uh, 440 dollars so i'm going to turn off the emas because they're only there to in this case right now to panic you because it's formed a daily bearish cross now all this means is that you're in a downtrend and we knew this anyway guys because you have a or in the short term at least because you have a high a low a lower high a lower low a lower high a lower low a lower high and a lower low but you were doing this short term downtrend to find your new swing low which is this previous swing higher support i'm going to turn on the fibonacci's for you guys because this is very key this is very key so let's get the fibs on i'm going to completely ignore this because this is your um uh most coins dump when they first get released basically and then they want to find a bottoming out structure which we did down here and since then you've now formed a higher high and a higher low at 200 dollars. so i'm going to measure from the top there to the bottom over here perfect so look wow wow guys so this over here was the one at 228 dollars but when you went below 300 which is over here when you went below 300 dollars and you confirm that as resistance over here this means that it's highly likely that you're going to come to around 250 which you did and you had a nice bounce but you got rejected over here by this trend line and so because you lost 250 it's highly likely you come to 200 let's keep it easy lose 300 you go to the middle point 250 if you lose that and you don't get a nice bounce to get back above 300 then you'll fall to 200 and it's the same if we lose 200 guys you'll come to the 050 at 150 dollars look at that for swing lows but i don't see that at the moment of course so what happens when you work through the fibs is you want to get above the most key level over here the 0618 at $166. Look at that beautiful backtest of support. And when you backtest, when you get above it and backtest the 0618 support, you will head to the 1618. So after that, you should actually hold the 1.272. And when you came here, you kept on coming back to the support. And every time you come back to support, you make it weaker. And this is shown by the bounces because your first bounce from here was your highest bounce. The second, even less, even less even less and just kept on weakening the the support basically because the bounces were coming uh becoming weaker and weaker and so the more times you hit a support the weaker it gets and so it's highly likely that you're going to break below it and that's what we saw over here and we actually got above for a few moments a day at least and then the next day you actually fell back below and confirmed it as resistance and this means support has turned into resistance and now if this is the top of the market we need to find the bottom of the market and what would make sense is that we'd look at psychological levels like 200 or um look for previous swing highs over here which you've now met basically you met them so you met that target. Look at the nice bounce from 200 here, which is that purple line. Amazing. Now, in the past, I have seen it from <clears throat> my experience over the last two and a half years. I've seen that usually you do come to the 1.272. 
So I've been doing basically Forex and crypto for the last two and a half years. I started with Forex, but my mentor got me into crypto. And actually, since the bull run, I've just gotten out of Forex and got completely into crypto. Why? Because the money's going into crypto, of course, because we're in a bull run. But not only that, guys, Forex is one of the most manipulated markets. I'd say stocks is the most manipulated one. So I don't touch stocks. I've had I've made money from stocks. I've made five figures from stocks. I started with like two thousand pounds yeah in the in the stock market only in november and uh like in january my uh, or february i got my stock account to twenty thousand pounds and that was because um the only stocks that i was actually in were crypto stocks but then they went really really stale and that's why i sold my uh sold my stocks and i just completely left the the stock market why because when crypto did a uh, dip and then start pumping afterwards the stocks weren't pumping the crypto stocks the crypto mining stocks so i just left that and just went all in into crypto and with forex you see how with the fibs we have certain targets like once you get above the 618 you go to the 1618 well with the with forex it's so manipulated that a lot of the time you won't meet the targets or let's say you have a double bottom over here and you break that neckline validating it you won't meet your target a lot of the time but with crypto of course it's not 100 percent success rate but it's much higher than with forex and stocks especially because stocks closes every day so there's lots of gaps in the market and so like like let's say you get stuck in a stock that you wanted to sell well the market's shut so you can't sell and then the market may open the next day and some news event happens while you're in the stock uh, overnight and you wanted to sell the night before but because the market was shut you can't sell and then the news event happens like a horrible uh, event in the world happens and then your stock drops as soon as it opens and you can't sell you have to like where it's dropped to if you wanted to sell that's where you're gonna have to sell so this is why i don't like stocks the market of crypto is open 24 7 it's never shut so we don't get crazy gaps like this and this is why i love crypto so quant in my opinion is one of the most bullish coins at the moment why because it's so bearish in the short term you never want to get into a coin over here what's what's coins kid saying buy green dildos you get big red oh buy, sorry buy green candles you get big red dildos and that's what we're seeing right now so hopefully you guys didn't buy up here because we had the 1618 and usually when you get there you retrace to the 1.272 this would have been a nice entry but obviously you can see the more times you hit it the weaker it gets so you lost it, hit resistance, and you now come to 200. Now, in my experience of trading, uh, this is the area that you want to see held. But if you do lose this, it's the one that you want to see held. And so from here, you should actually start rallying back up. But I've actually seen many times uh, through the years that it can come all the way back down to the 0618. And as long as it can hold that, you'll still eventually go back up because you actually create a large double bottom. I've seen it many times where it doesn't go there and just bounces off the 786. But right now the 786 is at 190 and we've just bounced off a psychological level. So now we want to see a relief rally to get above the 1. And if we can confirm that to support, we will head back to the 1618, fall back to here before heading to these further uh, up targets and yeah, beyond the, the all time high over here at 440. So that's what I'm seeing for Quant right now. Remember, guys, we can lose 200. And we're all safe as long as we stay above the 0618, we will eventually go back to the 1618, find support before heading to these further up targets up here at uh, $650 to $730. Once we get up there, we can expect a dip, guys. And you could, might even fall back to these swing highs over here. That could be 340, uh, 340 390 or 440 And so if you did, you, you, you bottom out. And then once we have that... Um, that dip and that's complete we can i can give you your next bullish targets and look at that for confluence the two here over here let's say the bottom is the swing high over here you could obviously come down to here the bigger the dip the bigger the rip look at this the bigger the dip the bigger the targets basically so let's say we just did bottom out at the all-time high uh sorry not the all-time at the local high sorry because that's your all-time high the local high so if if so then your next tech, uh, swing target would be 1000 exactly before finding support maybe on the 840 or 730 and then heading to these higher up targets up here minimal uh, 1221 or 1.5k basically i think there's a lot of steam in quant because it's very undervalued right now we've got coins like um solana which is roughly the same price maybe at the moment around 200 dollars and this is 211 but solana has 500 million coins guys uh total supply however quant has a max supply 
of 14 million. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it is 14 million. I have so many coins, I forget. But I think one only has 14 million. So once the, this market wakes up, it is gone. And right now from current price, my target at the moment is only 480%, guys. For a coin, that's so undervalued. This is not a lot. This can do way more than that. And so this is what I'm hoping for. And um, I've shown you in the past before that this chart right over here looks like varsity. So we'll get that up for you now. Oh, VRA, USD, sorry. Look at that. Look at this, guys. So VRA, when it opened, when it first came out, dumped, double bottomed, and then flew and met that technical target up there. You had a, you had a rollover, which, I, which was what I'm expecting anyway. When we meet our technical target, rollover find support before continuing this is what i'm seeing for quant as well a very similar structure and let's go back to quant can you see that so we're just trying to double bottom i'm not expecting it to go back down here i do not want it to go down here maximum down here at this uh swing low over here swing high swing low so maximum hit down here i'm not anticipating this i do want to see 200 hold if we can have a relief rally to get above the one confirm that support we're off guys but if we do lose the 200 i'd say that the 786 or this swing low here will, will kick in uh, I'd, I'd say that if you do come to the 0618 it would only be a wick like this before holding this box basically and this is what i uh, told you guys about another coin i think it was either um polygon or uh, i've forgotten to be honest i've forgotten but there was another coin that i was talking about that was doing a similar thing anyway guys i hope you enjoyed today's quant update remember to like comment subscribe and turn the notification bell on i hope you enjoyed the update i'll catch you in the next one and as always peace